Welcome back. Job openings are at a two-year high, and as businesses face a nationwide worker shortage, they're pulling out all the stops to entice prospective employees. One tool they're using is called Daily Pay. It is what it sounds like. It's a platform that lets workers access or save their pay without having to wait for payday. In fact, employees stay 45% longer at their jobs when they have access to this service. Joining me now is Jason Lee. He is the CEO and founder. Jason, first of all, how exactly does this work? <laughs> well, thanks, Kelly. And uh, by the way, welcome back. Thank you. Um, Daily Pay is a New York-based technology company, and we work with enterprises and Fortune 500 companies in really just about every industry you can name, from healthcare to restaurants to retail. The way it works is that employers leverage our technology to really offer their employees, I mean, truly a life-changing experience. It's something that we call on-demand pay. Said simply, employees can now access any part of their pay instantly as they earn it without having to wait for a lump sum on a scheduled payday. Through our technology, any employee can now see exactly what her accrued earnings are, and at a tap of a button, have access to any part of those earnings 24-7, 365. It's not a payback, there's not a loan, there's just your money, and we're delivering that to you on demand. Well, and I'm, I'm looking through here because, you know, there's always a catch. And I, I love this. And, and we should note it's pretty ubiquitous at this point. I mean, according to these stats, one in six grocery workers in this country are using it. Seven out of ten top fast food chains. It saves people tons of money on overdraft and, and not available funds fees. I totally get that. I, I guess the but, if I'm reading this correctly, is that um, there is, to some extent, a fee, a $2.99 fee uh, to transfer up to 100 percent of unearned income, $1.99 for next day. Um, you know, you annualize that. I can see how, you know, it, it still is a burden. So does this ultimately help or hurt the low-income earner? Yeah, so it's a, it's a terrific question, Kelly. I guess the way we think about it is in the new digital world, this whole concept of payday is a fairly antiquated concept. Let me draw an analogy for you. If you went to your checking account and you saw a bunch of money there and you went to an ATM machine, and you tapped a few buttons and you paid the ATM machine a few dollars to essentially access your money, none of us would think any differently about that. And so what our technology is really doing is it's making your pay real time. Right. It's like a checking account. But it does And I know that sounds a little bit complicated, yeah. but that's essentially what's occurring here. And so a lot of our users just analogize this to, I already got paid, and here I'm paying a small fee to actually access those funds as I would with any other checking account. My, so final question, can we get to a point, Jason, and do we need the banking system to get there or employers or payroll systems to get there? Why couldn't we get paid? I mean, it, it does seem archaic, this idea of a two-week <laughs> pay cycle. Why couldn't we get paid continuously in real time? Heck, minute by minute. Well, look, that's our vision. Um, and that's really the world that we're designing. We see an entirely new financial system where pay is, in fact, real time. The catch, however, Kelly, is it's really hard to do. You know, for my colleagues who work in the payroll industry, it's very, very difficult to kind of get all the pieces to work together, whether it be the funding or the technology yep. uh, or the risk and compliance. So that's what we do. We essentially offer the employee the ability to access daily pay without the employer having to run payroll daily. And that's really the concept behind Daily Pay. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. And I'm glad to have you on this week because we're talking about how this can be one way to in increase employee retention. And that seems to be the number one issue right now. Everybody from Chipotle to the hospitality industry offering bonuses if you stay on 90 days. Um, this is another way to maybe attract and keep those workers. Jason, thanks for joining me. We'll check back in soon. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.